All right, ladies and gentlemen, Baron here. We are playing the PT-76, the aquatic tank, as some of you have labeled it, or rather the amphibious tank, or at least what was historically accurate to be an amphibious tank. You know, and War Thunder's a uh, historically accurate game, right? But you know what? This bad boy is not amphibious, and I could show it off, but then I would just die. So we're not going to do that. Um, let's see. I was thinking about crossing the bridge, but you know what? We're not going to do that. So the main advantage of this vehicle is the auto-loading 76mm main gun that is able to fire fin-stabilized heat rounds that do about 200 millimeters of penetration at all distances, because you got to love heat rounds for that reason. So we missed this capture opportunity because we were thinking about maybe going swimming and maybe crossing the bridges. <laughs> Look at this guy just <laughs> mowing through all those. <laughs> But um, it's not the fastest tank, and I think that's because of what otherwise, you know, historically it's not that fast. But it was supposed to be amphibious, right? So I think it, ooh, that's some cool camo. I really think that would have been cool if they would allow this thing to be amphibious. I think that would really add a new dimension to War Thunder Ground Forces, plus the fact that Japanese tanks, some of them anyway, we're amphibious. But um, this was the most voted for. So, dare I say it, the uh, Tank Request series is back. Oh my gosh, the physics sometimes when tanks get stuck on tanks. Jagdpanzer 38T. Oh, oh, oh. This is a Hetzer? Get off me. We don't want to get shot in the side by that tiger. Maybe someone's right here. In case we want to. Now we've got a free reign to charge through here if we want. But yeah, let me know which tank we should take out next. I've got a few ideas for series. Oh my gosh, look how many there are there. Just that is just artillery paradise right there. So we're going to have to be mounting up a counterattack here soon. Incoming artillery fire. Got some hits. We're pushing up the right side, so you know what? I will... Whoa! Panzer IV F2. There we go. A ground unit destroyed. Another ground unit destroyed. Oh, we killed a PT-76. Our first kill was against our own amphibious brethren. It's like the Civil War, man. Brother versus brother. Amphibious tank versus amphibious tank. All right, let's see. Drop artillery right there. There's someone, like, right next to this M6A1. The gun depression on this thing is typically Russian. So not very good. So if this guy peeks, we can pop him. Which I really hope he does. SU-152. Alright, someone hit us right in the tracks. This guy's about to get flanked, it looks like. Panzer 4F2, come on. Oh, is, were those bombs? Where, what happened? Tell me it wasn't this guy. I thought we were repairing the tank. We get shot from... Could have been from that side. I'm surprised this guy... Why is he not making a move? Alright, good. Little Sherman leading the charge. Oh, shit. Kind of blocking that path I was going to take. Move. He's moved. Okay. Oh, is that the German Sherman? Oh, wow. We're really... 
in unfamiliar territory here. Where the shit did that come from? I think... Was that to the right of this guy? 45 seconds, guys. Yeah, that tiger. That was the end. But not the best armored. And even though it's an auto-loading 76, it does have pretty good penetration. Actually, that's definitely the high, you know, the high mark of this tank. So it looks like we're pushing them back to that third capture point. But yeah, I'm curious to see if you guys have any ideas for upcoming series that we could start. Um, I'm wondering if we should just do a weekly custom battle. And like, um, we'll stream one day that'll just be devoted to War Thunder and customs. And then see what, what day would be best for that, do you guys think? Oh, here we go. Damn it, we missed. Alright. We gotta clear some of these guys out, these little camping snipers. We got a pretty big group here ready to storm the front. But we don't really need to, we've got two caps. Critical hit. Right around the turret ring, hopefully, is where I think I'm aiming. A little just under it, but right through the front plate. Dornier airstrike. Yeah, so this thing, the penetration on this thing means you could be a pretty effective sniper at most distances. Call in a bomber whenever possible, man. I love bombers. That little air superiority, the air support. Oh, we do have an enemy fighter, so hopefully we're a good bomber. Hopefully we're a good bomber, right? But yeah, I'm thinking maybe like stream... Oh god, it's key 61. Whoa. Just don't get my elevator, man. I got three bombs to deliver to the little kitties down here. Panzer 4H, this is one of the guys we were looking at. Pull up, pull up! Oh! <laughs> Can you imagine being this crew? Oh yeah, they're all dead. They're all dead, but we did get the Panzer IV H. And it looks like an M24. So fantastic. We've got two artilleries. One shot. One cartwheeling B-25. Aircraft destroyed. Tell you what, man. That was fantastic. Bouge. Yeah, so if this thing was amphibious, I feel like War Thunder should go down that road where they start adding amphibious tanks and, you know, kind of like the perpetual battles that they have. Um, more stuff like that. I think we need more stuff like that. More to go down more the big epic battle route. Alright, Tiger H1. We're gonna get a little cheeky. Bad shot. What was that? Was that a tree? Or... Oh, okay, I see what's happening. Durr. As I miss again. He was just on the other side of the ground, but... The little highlight... Actually, he's not. That should... These should be hits. What was that about? Some like ghost shit going on right there. But our team won. Fantastic. Always good to be a winner, isn't it? But yeah, we do have our road to RB and I've got a few battles. I'm waiting on a few more before I edit together another video on the road back into realistic battle. So fear thee not.
Um, it's fun stuff. I had some video or I had some gameplay with Slick because I love I love squad squatting up in realistic battles. But I'm thinking, yeah, having a having a special day of War Thunder where you stream, you set up custom battles. We could have a weekly custom battle. Um and I'm trying to think like maybe those user missions and stuff like that would be a lot of fun. Just trying to really for me personally you get that amazing 13 millimeters of thickness. 10 millimeters of thickness. This really is a special tank, guys. 15 millimeters of thickness on the turret. And even your gun barrel is only 25 millimeters of thickness. So this thing is not good for its armor. It's not good for its amphibious properties because there are none. But it is great for the gun. But I'm still surprised the battle rating 5.7 like look at a t3485 which has much better armor with a lower battle rating you got that nice frontal slope again but 45 millimeters of thickness 90 up here at the turret you're definitely more survivable but yeah because like look how much space they had to devote just to kind of being what would you say amphibious but i tell you what if you could go in the water, like imagine like 30 of these in a custom battle, like approaching the beach from the water. How cool would that be? So um, um, it makes you wonder, like, I feel like they have to go that route. But um, do we have any perpetual battles? No, we don't. It's a game mode where like amphibious tanks could really shine because they could pop up where you didn't expect them. How cool would that be? Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, let me know which tank you'd like to see me play next. This is the return of the Tank Request series, and I'm asking your brilliant wisdom to find some fun new um, series ideas for War Thunder specifically. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you guys soon.